13 Action News Update sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello, I'm Dave Cravassi, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, after days of searching, the body of a missing toddler has been found just blocks away from where he was last seen alive. Police found two-year-old Amari Nicholson's remains yesterday. The man whom police believe killed Amari is Terrell Rhodes. He has been identified as Amari's mother's boyfriend. Now, a judge denied Rhodes bail yesterday. He is due back in court Monday. Kids 12 to 15 years old have been approved for the Pfizer vaccine. Remember, the FDA approved its use for the age group just a few days ago. Now that it's received the CDC's stamp of approval, a poll from the Kaiser Family Foundation found that only 30% of parents with kids between the ages of 12 and 15 plan to vaccinate their child right away. A quarter of them say they won't vaccinate their kids at all, and others say they'll only do it if schools require it. No word yet on whether CCSD will make the shot a requirement. UMC's vaccination center at the Encore is relocating. It'll operate through the end of today and then reopen at the UMC Advanced Center for Health starting Wednesday the 19th. The center is located on Charleston near Rancho. UMC says it decided to relocate the vac vaccination center because of decreased demand for the vaccine. It'll be a hot Thursday afternoon. Temperatures headed into the mid and very likely the upper 90s by 4 or 5 p.m. No shortage of sunshine uh, and that sun is going to heat us up to the low 90s by noon and then the mid and the upper 90s by the end of the afternoon. After dark at 8 p.m. Still quite warm, uh, just falling down into the upper 80s then. We'll look for a low of 72 late tonight. Bit of an afternoon breeze the next couple of days. We're back to 98 Friday. Dave, a drop to 93 Saturday, so still hot to start the weekend with a lot of wind. Might see some dust fly around on Saturday afternoon before a bigger drop to 83 for your high on Sunday. All right, thanks, Justin. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, the Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.